All right, ladies and gentlemen, first look. Are you kidding me? A first look? All the way from Valencia, Spain. The only places I could find this deep dish citizen mechanical diver made with super titanium, 46 millimeters. Oh, a nice thin slender case to wear under your cuffs when you're in the business environment. Yeah, right, McMahon. What is that, 40 uh, millimeters thick? No, it looks like it's at least 14, 15. Have mercy on us all. So, uh, 46. Have mercy on us all. T all titanium, including the bracelet with a ratchet, ratcheting uh, clasp. Now, uh, this is a mouthful. This is the uh, NB60043 83E. And uh, Rafi liked it a lot. Uh, Matt liked it a lot at Watch City. Took one link out, and now there's no no flapping on the on the wrist. Look at that bezel. Now um, I was looking at forums for the last six months. Oh, a watch obsessive who goes on watch forums six months before a watch comes out. Sound familiar? And um, people were saying, hmm, very busy bezel for the diver. Well. I'm not a professional diver, so the busy corrugated bezel textured like that's not going to bother me at all. Uh, it's not going to bother me in the slightest. The bezel doesn't bother me. Um, the other thing people said is, what? This is very futuristic. This is very futuristic in a sort of retro kind of way. Yes, it does remind me of retro 90s citizen divers. Let me just get it. Just like that. So it looks like divers from the uh, from the uh, 90s, and uh, so it does have a retro, but it's also futuristic at the same time. Very comfortable. Haven't tested the loom yet. Haven't tested the loom yet. Just want you to see it next to a, a little calculator. Do people use calculators anymore? Let's get that. Uh, people use calculators anymore. So just got this. Um, Okay, that's a nice shot. Now this has a new movement, the 9051. It's supposed to uh, give you accuracy, 10 seconds a day. The worst case scenario, they say, is 20 seconds. Uh, we will see about that. So uh, can I share something with you guys? So I'm at Watch City with Rafi, and I've known Rafi for 15 years. He takes a link out, and he says, McMahon, I don't want you bringing your leased Honda back to uh, Honda. Don't do not do that. You're not going to make any money. He, he goes, you only have 5,000 miles on your 2018 car. Put the VIN number in CarMax and just sell it to them. They'll, they'll pay the lease off right there. I go, is that legal? He goes, yeah. People do it all the time. So I, I looked into it, and he's right. So I go to, I go to CarMax, and, and uh, I put the VIN number in, the miles, and they're, they're offering me, by the way, the residual is 18. They're offering me 26. So getting a link removed from this citizen made me how much money? What's the math, guys? Twenty-six, eighteen, eight thousand dollars. I think just going in and finding this out. For, so I'm going to make eight thousand. I'm going to sell this car that doesn't belong to me to CarMax. I'm going to pocket eight. They offered it. They offered me the money on the line. They want me to go in and get in my Honda, which is pretty much brand new. They're going to sell it for twenty-six. Honda was going to do this. They were going to sell it, but not give me any money. And uh, I didn't know that this could be done. I guess not a lot of people know. So I go in, you know, to have one link removed. Next thing I know it, uh, I'm $8,000 richer. And then uh, what does Rafi say? He goes, now you got to get the tutor. Jeff. I go, oh, interesting, Rafi. Get the tutor, you say, not the Omega Planet Ocean. He goes, I saw you wearing the tutor, and I like it. I like you in that tutor, and it's the right price for you, Jeff. So, you know, my buddy Rafi, maybe I'll get the tutor. I don't, and I don't know why. I always wanted the black base steel, but but for some reason, having worn the one that Lee let me borrow, the GMT Pepsi, I, I realized that having uh, some color on the bezel gives it more presence, and now I want the black bezel. Don't want the red, don't want the blue, don't want the Pepsi. I want the black. Don't want the stainless. Want the black. 
hey, if this works out, you know what's weird? I'll tell my wife this. I'll go, hey, honey, I went to Watch City to get a link taken off of this beautiful citizen, and Rafi just made us $8,000. And my wife's not into money. She goes, oh, that's nice. Hmm. Have the girls done their homework? <laughs> You know, she doesn't talk like that, but I'm just, I'm giving you the, she could be mad at me, in fact. She it would hit me if she heard me doing a stupid imitation like that. My wife does not talk like that. In fact, I got to tell you guys, my wife is smarter than I am. Part of her intelligence has uh, protected her from the watch obsession. So, uh, I get, I get this citizen adjusted in the bracelet and next thing I know it I may be selling my least Honda Accord 2.0 liter to CarMax and pocketing uh, well it's not going to be eight because I still owe three more payments on it so it's going to be seven it's going to be about seven but still Honda was going to give me nothing man they were going to rip me off of course Honda doesn't tell you this oh yeah you can just sell it at CarMax they don't tell you stuff People don't have your back. Rafi had my back. So uh, I apologize for going on my little car thing when, I, when I'm giving you the first look. But you know what? The first look is a story of going to Watch City and, and sharing my citizen with Rafi and Matt. And Rafi taking the link off and talking to me about cars. And uh, I love Rafi. He, uh, he was leasing a, a Land Rover for his wife. And uh, they barely drove it, and they needed an oil change. And he goes, huh, I figured it would cost 100 bucks. And they gave him a bill of 410 bucks. And he just goes to the manager goes, I'm not paying it. This is a lease car. The lease is up in three months. I'm not paying $400. And, and he just, I refuse to pay it. And the manager just says, yeah, since you're a customer and you leased it here, uh, we will uh, we'll charge you uh, 100 and 20 bucks. I go, God bless you, uh, Rafi. You, you got uh, you got a legit oil change price. He was, a, I was offended for him. And he was offended that I was going to turn my uh, my Honda back. So that's a situation. Uh, I've not had this watch for more than two hours. I got a lecture from Rafi on correct car lease management. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good. There you go. There's a good shot of the case thickness. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be the last watch I have. For those of you who've been watching my videos, uh, it's either go luxury or don't go. I'm done. All right. Uh, please don't be offended that I interjected a car lease story into this video. It's, it was part of the journey of going to Watch City with my new citizen, uh, sports diver and super titanium with a mechanical movement and uh, hopefully I'll do a, a review later our kitchen's going to be demoed in the next couple days so who knows how many videos I'll be doing I should probably give you guys an update on my car lease as well and what I did with that alright ladies and gentlemen until next time I'm out